Hey you guys, Ruth Wilson here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where we do makeup tutorials for beginners. So sometime in the month of August, I think, <laughs> if I remember, I showed you guys exactly how to apply your lashes. And one of the things that I also mentioned is that your lashes can be reusable with proper care. So now the question is, what is proper care? Or exactly how do you care your lashes? Well, if you want to know, then keep watching this video. So just before I get into the content of this video, let me tell y'all that uh, the pieces that you're about to see in this video, it was actually pieces that I was putting together for a video for you guys. So a couple months ago, I had some time, I had some free time, and I wanted to give my lashes a wash bath, as they call it, or, you know, bathe them or clean them. So I figured, hey, why not let me just document the entire process and show you guys exactly how it is being done. Unfortunately, I ran into some issues with the lashes because of how long I had them and how long that I haven't cleaned them and all that stuff. So the video really wasn't turning out exactly the way I wanted it to and um, I was gonna throw everything away I was gonna scrub the entire video away and throw every through all the contents all the pieces away but then I a light bulb hit over my head and I'm like video idea instead of showing you guys how to just clean your lashes how about I use these clips to show you guys uh, things of what you should not do giving you tips on what else you can do to help with your lashes how often you should do that and at least show you guys what to do before you run into a situation like I did so with that the video automatically transferred to just how to clean your lashes to know how to care your lashes so the very first clip I'm gonna be sharing with you is what are some of the contents the things that you're definitely going to need to clean your lashes I'll also be showing you guys the lashes that I am going to clean or I was going to clean at the time and then we're gonna get into the process of getting them cleaned of what you should do um, also in this video you guys will hear me talk about some other options of uh, other things that you can do instead of just lash glue especially if you are a beginner what other alternatives there are for a beginner to apply their lashes and then coming down to the end of the video i'm gonna be sharing with you guys things that you shouldn't do so roll the tape so first let's tell you what you're going to need to clean these lashes you're gonna need some water some people do them just, you know, random. Some people do cold water. I prefer hot water. So I'm gonna be putting this in the microwave. You definitely need these. These spoolies are very, very nice and soft. Soft enough that they will be able to remove the product off of your lashes. And you're gonna need some shampoo. I'm using this one from Cantu Shea Butter. So pull up your hair, let's get going with this. These are my lashes that I am going to be cleaning right here. This one's a gift from Any Who's. Uh, this one's from Cavalli. And these three here, as you can see, they all have the same shade because they are from the Pink Panther collection by my girl, Trissy Luxury Cosmetics. All right, so let's get to work. So while we're waiting for those to hot, I think I'm gonna do these lashes uh, one by one because the last time I put all the lashes in one bowl, I almost got them mixed up and I couldn't remember what went where. So I don't want that to happen again. So let's see, I'm gonna go with like the nastiest one. Let's see which one I got, look, look how much guck. Do you guys see that? Look how much guck is on those lashes. Focus, honey, focus. Ugh, super nasty. Oh my God. Then we got this one right here, so dirty. This one, woo! This one. So let's see, if I'm gonna go with the dirtiest one, I'm gonna go with this one here. Called Lulu Tees. All right, so these are the ones I'm gonna go with first. And the first thing I'm gonna do is get my hot water out the microwave. This is very hot. And I'm gonna take the shampoo. And we're opening it up, and we're gonna throw some of the shampoo inside of that water. 
Lather it, baby, lather it. All right? And before I take one of the spoolies and just like try to mix, mix it in there. So now we're gonna put, let me rest that down right there. And we're gonna put these lashes in here. So there's our hot water with the uh, shampoo inside and I'm gonna throw the lashes in there. They're gonna sink. I'm gonna throw them in there. There you go. So I'm gonna start with these two first. And uh, we're gonna let it sit for like a good 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back to show you guys what they are looking like and how it is easy to get them clean. So while our lashes are currently soaked in hot water and shampoo, let me just tell you guys of some alternatives that you can use just in case if one, you're not done for the glue, two, you are literally scared to use the glue, and not only that, you're also looking for something that will not clump up your lashes so much, and this is for when I was a beginner. So at the very beginning when I started doing makeup and I started applying lashes, I learned to use this right here. This is hair glue. Now let me show you guys why it is so easy for you to use. This is just a squeeze that I put on my finger here. It dries in very, very fast. As long as you have it towards the breeze, they dry in very, very quickly. Of course, if you are using this, you're gonna have to apply your lashes and not wait a whole 30 seconds like you would uh, regular glue because this dries down very fast. But look at this. It is also a lot easier for you to remove all the lashes. Look at this. Now this is still dripping, it's still wet. Look at what I do to this thing here. I literally just spread it all over, right? No, I don't need to go get wipes or anything to take this off. It's gone. Look at how it is. This is why it is so easy for you to use uh, hair glue. It, because when you take your lashes off in the evening time, you can literally just pick them off and it comes off effortlessly so you won't have a lot of glue built up or bulked onto your lashes like regular glue would and the second thing can i borrow this for a second please can i borrow this thank you the second thing you definitely should invest in is an adhesive eyeliner a two-in-one adhesive eyeliner these are guaranteed to not leave any product on your lashes. All you need to do is apply them just the same way you would as eyeliner and you just, you don't even have to wait, you just put them on and they stick on. Now, the only problem with an adhesive eyeliner is that some will work, some of them are very strong, some of them are very mild. So there's not a 100% guarantee that it's gonna work at every point, but it literally works. But you guys would have seen how to apply your lashes with uh, glue. I showed you guys how to do it with the glue, and I showed you guys how to do it with the eyeliner. So you have that choice. So if you are looking for something that's not going to build up a lot on your lashes, hair glue or adhesive eyeliner. Just make sure you know exactly where you are getting them from. All right, let's go check on our lashes. All right, now look at this, guys. Look at this. Watch has gotten a little cold. Whoa. You see that? Yeah, see what's going on there? The water is nasty. Look, look what happened. Look at what happened. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. The parts where the glue has to come off is supposed to turn white to make it an easier access for you to take the spoolie to remove the rest of the product. So now let's start to remove what needs to be removed. 
All right, so now we're back down to present time, and in the next two clips, you'll see me attempting to remove the guck off of the lashes. This is exactly what was supposed to happen, like I said. When you soak them in the soap or in whatever you use as the soap, you take the spoolie, and as you can see, some of the guck was coming off. However, this was a mistake that I made with my lashes here because the first time I had the lashes, I cleaned them in the first three months. I think uh, that it is advised, if I'm correct, that you should at least clean your lashes. I'm not sure if it's every week or every month. Um, but this is why I went back to using hair glue because using hair glue literally removes it a lot easier. But my mistake was to sit, be lazy and not clean my lashes as often as possible. And then the glue, it just got stuck there. And then by experience, my eyes literally started to hurt. I had to stop using the lashes. At this point, I can get away with it. I can still use them using the hair glue, but... I I have to toss I, I I have to take these lashes to the garbage. You know I'm really pissed off and I'm upset about it. And the only reason why I am is because these lashes really do mean a lot to me. Um, and the fact that I have to get rid of them kind of makes me sad. But one of the other things that you should never do, as you saw me do there just while I was talking, never use your fingernail or anything pointed to try to remove the guck. If you can't get all of it off, that's fine. Don't even try. And I'll explain in the final clip in this video. But I hope that uh, you guys have taken something so far away from this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below about your lashes and I'll try to answer them as best as I possibly can. At this point, I had to replace all my lashes, but now let's get over to the last clip. So these are what the lashes are looking like right now. I know that they're supposed to be a little more cleaner than this, but this is what happens when you've worn your lashes for so long and you've been wearing them and wearing them and wearing them over and over again and you're not washing them. As you can see, all the guck is not gone. And if I literally attempt to remove all the guck from these lashes, it's going to break. And the next person or the next thing that will see them, look at this one. Look at this one. You see that? It literally looks as though it is splitting in half. If I try removing anything more from this, they're going to break completely. And uh, these are basically going to have to be replaced. I'm going to have to throw these out. And I might have to do the same for all the other lashes that I have. So, um, yeah. So as you can see, that was the entire process of attempting to clean the lashes. After that clip there, I attempted to clean the rest of them to see if maybe it was just me. But nah, really, it, it really was just me. I should have taken better care of my lashes, but I must say that the lashes did last a very long time. I actually have a pair on right now because I'm waiting for some new ones to arrive so that I can get rid of these because literally they started burning my eyes. That's what happens. Your eyes get irritated if you're not cleaning your lashes. So in summary, to care your lashes, please make sure that one, you are cleaning them as often as possible. Do not wait until all the glue is gucked up and built up there and then you attempt to remove it because two, if you're trying to remove it, you're gonna start to break it because you're getting so agitated and you really want the glue to come off. Now, you might mistakenly just pull the string of the lashes and you could break them. That's when it's a no-go and you're gonna have to throw them in the garbage. So please don't make the same mistake I made. Please make sure that you are cleaning your lashes as often as possible, especially if you're using actual lash glue that builds up over time. If you're using hair glue like I showed you in the video, it's gonna come off a lot easier. If you're using the duo glue, I think that also comes off like the hair glue, but like the lash glue, lash adhesive that I've used over the past couple of months, it's proven that they took way too long to come off my lashes, so I decide to go back to my hair glue. That's what I have on my eyes right now. 
But that's my video for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you guys learned something about taking good care of your lashes. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, take very good care of yourselves. Bye.